Hello, my name is Leah. July has officially passed, and you know what that means. It's wrap-up time. Let's not waste any time, and I will jump right in. So the first book that I read in the month of July was Queen of Shadows by Sarah J. Mass. As I have mentioned before, I'm doing a reread of the Throne of Glass series in preparation for Kingdom of Ash coming out in October. I'm very excited. There's pretty much nothing I can say about this book without spoiling the first three, so if you don't know what Throne of Glass is at this point, um, there's lots of other videos that can explain it better than me. But I love this series. I gave this book five out of five stars, of course. I think Queen of Shadows is one of my favorite books in this series, so it was a lot of fun to sit down and reread this book. We got a Kingdom of Ash cover this month, and I'm so excited. I, it was, I don't know, what I, I wasn't really expecting anything, but it wasn't what I was expecting. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know, I think the yellow color threw me off a little bit. It just looked like weirdly bright for a Throne of Glass novel. I like it, but I'm sure like once it's in my hand and it's next to the other books, I'll, it'll make more sense to me. The yellow color, I don't know why, the yellow color just threw me off. So the book after this, Empire of Storms, I plan on picking up next month and rereading that as well. And then counting down the days and the hours until Kingdom of Ash comes out. The next book that I read in July was Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis. I started this because I had to go to jury duty, which was an experience. I mean, the plus side was that it like was an adult thing, so I feel more adulty. But the bad side is that I had to go to jury duty. <laughs> but anyways, I brought this book along with me because sometimes I have to like force myself to read nonfiction and so I'm trying my hardest to read more nonfiction books. But I figured that jury duty was a good time to force myself to start this book because otherwise you're just not doing anything and you're super bored for hours and hours and hours on end. So I got like halfway through while I was there. And then I finished the second half of this in my 24 hour reading vlog, which was a lot of fun, but it was a lot harder than I realized it was going to be. But Mere Christianity is basically a collection of radio talks that C.S. Lewis gave in England post World War II. It addresses kind of some of the basic Christian tenets and it's kind of philosophical, although C.S. Lewis does a good job of making it entertaining as well. Like he's kind of sarcastic in points, which is a lot of fun. But I definitely enjoyed reading this and I gave it five out of five stars. The next book that I read in the month of July was Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. This book was awesome. I loved it so much. I had weird expectations going in because I have read the Grisha trilogy before and it like wasn't my favorite thing. I liked the universe, I just, the characters in that book really didn't get me. I only liked one. And so that's why I did not pick up Six of Crows whenever it first came out and it was getting super hyped. I just wasn't a big fan of the Grisha trilogy and I kind of figured the same thing would be the case with this one, but I just kept hearing so many great things. And to be 100% honest, um, the thing that kind of pushed that decision over the edge of me being like, okay, yeah, I'm actually gonna buy this book, is how beautiful this cover is and how freaking cool the black pages on the edge are. I just love the way this looks. And I'm excited to get Crooked Kingdom too because they have the red pages. But I am glad that this beautiful cover attracted me because the characters in this book are so amazing. I loved every second of it. I read most of this during my 24 hour readathon and then finished the rest of it the day after because I was so in love with the story. For those of you who do not know, Six of Crows is a heist slash prison breakout story. There's a highly addictive drug that is going to bring catastrophe on the world and pretty much ruin everything. And this group of criminals is hired to go and break out the guy who invented it so that the formula doesn't fall into the wrong hands. It's a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. There was definitely like some graphic violent scenes in this that I just wasn't expecting for some reason, but I loved it. I thought it was amazing. One of the characters, Kaz, is very morally gray. He kind of just does what needs to be done. And he's like super smart and super good at strategizing. And so it was really entertaining. Even though you knew some of the plans, you never knew 100% what he was gonna do. But yes, highly enjoyed this read, five out of five stars. And the last book that I read in the month of July was Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. At the moment of filming this, I'm just over halfway through, so that's my little post-it note bookmark thing. But I know I'm gonna be able to finish this by the end of the month because I'm not like flying through it, but I'm definitely reading it a lot faster than I thought I would. Jane Eyre is a classic, of course, about a girl named Jane 
who is an orphan and kind of has a really rough childhood growing up in a family that doesn't want her and then going to a school that is a little bit abusive at times but ends up getting a little bit better. Finally, whenever she's old enough to kind of go out on her own, she gets a job as a governess at Thornfield Hall where the master of the house is Mr. Rochester. And there's some romance and some mystery because some weird things are happening at Thornfield Hall. Some stuff gets set on fire, there's an attempted murder, all the makings of a really great plot. I'm loving Jane Eyre so far. Classics, again, for me are kind of hard to pick up just because initially I find within the first few chapters it's really hard to get into because typically they're written in kind of older language and I'm used to reading YA everything. But once I did like get into the book, I have loved it so much. This is probably going to be my favorite classic, if not one of my favorite books, period. I will give it a tentative rating because I have not finished it yet, but I have a feeling this is going to be a five out of five stars book for me. But that was all the books that I read in the month of July. I definitely really enjoyed this month as a reading month. Like I said, they were all five out of five books for me and so it's been a great month. Let me know in the comments any books that you read this month or any suggestions that you have for me to read in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!